Hey everyone, Tech OG here representing those who are 40 and up who love their tech. And this video is going to be another Convince Me Otherwise video segment. So you already know that I decided to rock the iPhone 10s with 512 gigabytes of delicious space at my disposal. However, um, after seeing the Samsung event of their new uh, lineup of phones coming out, especially the Note 20 Ultra, I'm having, not really second thoughts, but I, I'm having thoughts of trading this sucker in for the Note 20 Ultra. As you can see, everyone's talking about it on YouTube. I am contemplating, I'm here on eBay, looking at the international version because, because I travel sometimes. I want to use the international version. Even though the um, Exynos processor is very underpowered compared to the uh, Snapdragon uh, 865 that's going to be, or 865 Plus, that's going to be in the Note Ultra for the uh, US. Thank you for arena.com for these specs that I'm gonna, about to go over. Release date is going to be August 21st. Display is going to be a whopping 6.9 inches. That is basically 7 inches in your hand. That is basically a mini laptop. And now you should know about mini laptops because I did review one before. Um, I believe it was a one, the one mix. Yeah, the one mix. I can't remember the name of it. But a 7 inch laptop is basically having a laptop in your hand. That's huge. Um, the camera is going to be 108 megapixel, triple camera, so it's going to have an ultra wide and a telephoto lens on there, up to 50 um, x zoom, and that's going to be a digital zoom. It's going to be up to 5x optical zoom, and that's going to be a lot clearer. Um, the process is going to be a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus with 12 gigabytes of RAM. These are better specs than a lot of laptops that are out there. Storage is going to be 128 uh, gigabytes minimum, 512 maximum, plus of course expandable storage. Battery is um, whopping 4500 milliamps, so you'll get all day performance, and of course you'll get fast charging as well, and you'll get Android 10 standard as your operating system. So here's my dilemma. My dilemma is, hold on for a second, here's the reason I had to pause the video, doggone it, Max. Chill, okay? Chill. Okay, so here's my, I wouldn't even call it a dilemma. I will call this, uh, this is basically me saying, should I get it? Because of Samsung's offer. They love to get traded. Uh, going through Samsung, of course. You can't get this to going through T-Mobile or AT&T or even the Apple Store. You wouldn't get this big of a discount. Look at this discount for the iPhone XS. I actually bought it for that price. Exactly, 550 bucks. So I can trade in the XS for 550 and end up getting the Ultra, the um, No 20 Ultra, and I'm getting, of course, the, the biggest spec one, 512 gigabytes of space on board, plus expandable storage, and it only comes to Mystic Black, ships August 19th, awesome, for the, and I wouldn't say I wouldn't say low low price, but this price here is a lot better than this price here. Brand new without the trade in, fourteen forty nine, or round that up, fourteen hundred fifty dollars. Seriously, for a phone? But with the trade in, it brings it down to nine hundred dollars. That's a lot better than fifteen hundred. So I'm I have a dilemma. Should I get the Note 20. Now, the reason why I want to get the Note 20 is not necessarily because of the specs, not necessarily because of the camera. I mean, the 50 zoom max, don't get me wrong, that is outstanding. So I don't have to have um, a standalone camera with the lenses that I used to have to get a, a far enough reach for certain objects that I see that I want to take a picture of. And you can even do the 50x zoom in video. That is awesome. So that right there is, I mean, of course you're not going to get the best quality at 50x. You're going to get the best quality at uh, 5x optical zoom. So anything that's digital, you're going to get your, your noise levels. You're going to get that greeniness. You're not going to get the best picture quality. But still having that option to take a picture of an object, for example, if I want to take a picture of those trees that you see in the background and not go 
50 feet towards the trees, but to sit right here and get close to it, that right there is an excellent option to have as far as taking videos and pictures. So, like I said, it's not necessarily the processor. I'm not really impressed by any processor. I'm not necessarily in, uh, impressed by the cameras. But like I said, just having those options is great. I'm just impressed with emulation. Just doing the things that I like to do on my phone. So, um, me particularly, you already know that on my 10s, I am rocking some of the best emulators on the iPhone because this is jailbroken. So, you know, I got to have my Nintendo DS, uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PSP, um, the Delta. You can't have this particular emulator on um, Android phones, but you can get the particular emulator that is embedded in this multi-emulator separately on your Android phones. So, you're getting... You can still get these emulators, but you get them a lot better. They're presented a lot better with on Android as they are on a jailbroken iPhone. So, as far as my emulation and having the space available, the um, internal plus the external, because I'm going to get me, of course, a one terabyte micro SD card. So, I'm going to have 1.5 terabytes of delicious space at my disposal to use apps, things that of that nature and of course my emulators um, and with the um, Note 20 Ultra with the faster processor the Cetra emulator is going to run those Nintendo 3DS games buttery smooth and with the 120 refresh rate you, you, you definitely can't go wrong with that so I am stuck right now I need your help what do you think convince me otherwise should I keep my 10s or should I take the plunge and get, while it's available, the Note 20 Ultra. 512 gigabytes that's only available in one color. Help me out, what should I do? I'm on the fence, I really am gearing towards this because I want my 3DS games portable. Can't have 3DS on here, Citra is not made for iPhone. Only made for Android. So to have all of that cool portability, all of that space, all of my games, uh, camera quality is great. Um, having uh, Kin Ma Kai Master, what do you call that? To edit my videos, having 8K video uh, options to record in 8K, of course, it's going towards the, the Note 20. So, Note 20 Ultra, excuse me. So, help me out, convince me otherwise. What should I do? Keep the uh, 10S or go for the uh, Ultra, the Note 20 Ultra. So leave your comments below and let me know what I should do. And I'm probably already going to make my decision before y'all even make your comments. But go ahead and do so. Convince me otherwise. All right. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Of course, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends about my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video.